Hannah may think she's put boat life behind her, but she's about to change her tune tune Hannah. Let's put her in the center of the below deck sailing yacht drama. I need your unfiltered takes on everything that's gone down this season. Hannah, how would you handle Natasha telling you that she made 20 pieces of pita for the guests when it seemed like that wasn't the case? Uh, I think there's much larger fish to fry on a yacht than how many pieces of pita bread are in a bowl. Um, if you were Sydney, would you keep pursuing Gary even though he was blatantly flirting with Allie? No, absolutely not. Did Gary do an acceptable job of trying to get on the same page with Sydney or did he botch it? Did he lead her on? I was so shocked like to shag your, uh, you know, like your superior or your your boss, like, within three days, is that's a lot. So That, that feels like a happy. record, yeah. Do you think- I think it is, yeah. Do you think Daisy should have told the first charter guest to do a sit down breakfast before sailing in order to make things easier for Natasha? Or should the chef roll with whatever the guest wants, even if it makes her life more difficult? Oh, I, to me, breakfast is always a sit down. Like, we, I, on a super yacht, we'd never consider like, telling them to have something in their hand. But but I don't know sailing boats, so. Um, Natasha, have you cooked on a lot of sailing yachts before? Yes, I have prior to uh, Parsifal. I have worked two years on um, the sister yacht of Parsifal. So I have uh, two years of experience in sailing yachts. Wow, there you go. Uh, Hannah, how do you think Gary is handling Jean-Luc's lack of initiative? <laughs> I think he's doing an okay job. I, uh, yeah, I think he's hilarious, that tall guy. Um, would you make out with another stew in the hot tub during a round of Truth or Dare? Not while there was cameras there anyway. There you go. I <laughs> like that answer. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.